Hey guys, so in the previous videos we saw like how many marks you need to get into get a top 100 rank. So that means you should know how many questions you can skip. Like let's say you are attempting like questions and you are at 95% accuracy which means you will just get 2 or 3 questions wrong in the whole paper. So let's say you get 3 questions wrong. So you need to get at least 50 questions correct. And rest 12 questions you can skip. So if you do this you will get a 75 plus marks. And 75 plus marks is good for gate civil, for gate environment exercise and probably even for gate geomatics. So you have the liberty to skip 12 questions. So you do not have to like panic if you do not know like 3-4 questions. You can always skip them. That doesn't mean you will skip all the 12 or you will just say sit with a fixed number. I just don't want you to panic when you see a tough question. So you do have liberty to skip a few questions and still get a top rank. So which sort of questions should you skip? So before even you go into the gate exam, you do attempt like ABCD test, attempt this full length test, subject test. So that is when you can get to know which questions to skip and which not to skip. So generally what you can do as a head start, I'm going to tell you here. So one is obviously you are going to skip the questions which doesn't make any sense to you. Whether it makes sense to someone else or not, when you are reading the question, you are very confused and you are going to spend some another 5 minutes to understand it. You skip it, you mark it for review and come back at it later. And if you do not know this concept obviously, you have to skip it. Even if you mark for review, there is no point because you do not know the concept at all. And should you skip this lengthy questions? Sometimes lengthy questions just have a 2 step solution and sometimes they have a 20 step solution. So you do not know unless you understand the question. So this is why you should mark this for review. So generally what you can do is you can do like questions one by one and then whichever you feel are quicker to solve you can do that and in the second round. So you can mark some questions which are like for review, for which are lengthy questions or which you did not make sense to you. So in the second time of answering these questions you can come back at it. So lengthy questions will come in that category. Why I am telling you this? Like sometimes it is going to take 20 steps to solve it. So that will take like 10 minutes of your time means you could have answered 2 other questions. But sometimes it will just be a 2 step solution. So you just try to understand the question at least and then skip it. So that you can do in the second round of answering these questions. So that is about the lengthy question. And sometimes you have to be beware there will be some wrong question in the paper. This is a very rare occurrence but let us say you are solving a question and you got an answer. Let, let's say you got an answer 5.4 or something and it's not even there in the options. You are checking it again and still it is not there in the options. Now you are all confused, you know the concept for sure and you still you are not finding that answer in the options. So at that time do not panic, it is possible that they have put some value wrong. It is definitely possible because gate paper has had mistakes in the past. So in 2020, in 2020 in gate in one of the branches in civil, there were I think two questions were wrong in one set and three questions were wrong in another set which converted to, this is to everything was a two mark question which converted to 4 and 6 marks, like about 4 to 6 marks were wrong and this was given marks to everyone. This did not happen in the, did not happen every year but in 2018 there was a marks to all question. There is also a unique case sometimes where you have to assume things and then try to solve the question especially when it is a numeric question and there is no negative involved. I will cover that in detail in another video but for now you do keep in mind that there could be some wrong question. It's a very rare occurrence but if you are trying one or two times like two three times you are trying and still getting and it's not there in the options 
you can just think okay maybe it's a wrong question and move on to the next just do not waste time on a single question like more than 5 or more than 8 10 minutes don't waste time on a single question and that is all i wanted to tell in this video if you are preparing for gate 2022 do make use of apcd test series it is available both in our app and website where you can practice such things even before you enter into the exam you will get to know which ones to skip which ones to which ones not to skip clearly once you sit in the exam hall so for that you just try to practice these questions from our test series and if you are appearing for 2023 so you have two courses which are good one is the premium course which has which is our best selling and popular course and we also have a new course premium plus which comes with one to one mentorship so aditya sir will be personally mentoring you providing your study plan and so many other features in it so to more to know more details about it just check the link in the description or whatsapp us